Welcome back. Time for New Music Tuesday. John Kuntz and Patrick Floyd are here from Waterloo Records once again with this week's hottest new releases. Guys, thanks for being back. Why, thank you. We are starting with a band that hit Man. it big with their last album, Absolutely. didn't Absolutely. Phoenix is back with their fifth studio release, the follow-up to Wolfgang Amadeus Phoenix. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's entitled Bankrupt. I think that title track may be, you know, indictment on society, maybe e the EU, who knows. But uh, <laughs> they, they definitely... Uh, are doing an incredible follow-up to that breakout release with uh, you know kind of their garage band alt rock. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. It, it just it really works for me. And we you know they were the biggest draw we had a couple of years back at South by Southwest when we had them signing there. So the band. Uh, hooked us up with a test uh -oh. pressing that we're going to be giving away, an autograph test pressing, one of only 13 in the world. We'll be giving away today at our Austin's Pizza 1 p.m. listening party. We've also Boom. got this incredible poster free with purchase for anybody. Very cool. We'll yeah. see how they can follow up that last one. And then Snoop Doggy Dog reinvents himself. <laughs> Absolutely. Now Snoop Lion. Snoop Lion. The album is called Reincarnation. Uh, Snoop's become somewhat of an uh, abstraction since he first we first heard him on Dr. Dre's The Chronic and then Doggy Style and then he was just sharp, verbal agility. The lyrics were just fast and furious and just clever. Mm -hmm. This the, the brand of Snoop has evolved much mm -hmm. like the name. So mm -hmm. Snoop Lion, he went down to Jamaica, found some willing collaborators. He's got Diplo and Major Lazer as producers. He's got Stuart Copeland from um, The Police does a little drumming on this. But it's really a lot of peace and love and nature and uh, it's a different version of Snoop. <laughs> Speaking of peace and love, crooner Michael Buble. Absolutely. Uh, Michael Buble. This is entitled To Be Loved and what can't be said about this Canadian with an incredible set of pipes. Uh, he, this, his, this is the follow-up to the Christmas record he put out a couple of years ago. Seven million copies that thing sold and it was number two only to Adele's breakout release. Uh, that year. Uh, anyway, he's got um, uh, a mix of standards on here and four originals, including a co-write with fellow Canadian Brian Adams and an incredible duet that I love with uh, actress Reese Witherspoon. Wonderful. Um, a debut album. Yes, Luke Winslow King with harmonies from Esther Rose on almost every track. This is really, a, I really enjoyed this record. It's just fresh and clean, mostly acoustic. There's some electric guitar in there also, but this is just... Uh, a really approachable album. There's no studio tricks to it. It's just really fresh and clean. The strange thing is this one deserves the parental advisory more than Snoop Lion. Oh boy. There's a murder ballad on there, which <laughs> Snoop's got one called, you know, No Guns in the Room or something like that. So this is uh, a, an excellent record though. A lot of fun. Wonderful. All right, moving right along. Uh, actor Steve Martin has a uh, collaboration. He does. And, you know, I'm going to riff off the, uh, the retro nature of this album cover. And, uh, since I'm on NBC, I'm just going to assume that I went from John Kuntz to Johnny Carson, and I'm going to say, here's Steve and Edie. <laughs> there you go. Steve Martin and Edie Raquel. Steve Martin, of course, the comedian, actor, musician, producer, playwright, you name it, he's done it in the, mu in the entertainment industry. Edie Raquel of the New Bohemians, an incredible duet record from these two with his bluegrass folk country banjo stylings and her detail-rich uh, v lyrics and heart-tugging vocals. Um, they've also got some help from an another Texan. Esper that both of them are Texans, by the way. Esperanza Spalding and uh, the Sarah Watkins and Sean Watkins from Nickel Creek. Wonderful. And one yeah. quickly, one in-store to promote here. Yes, Half Japanese. We have Tad Fair of Half Japanese. He'll be in the store on Sunday at 5 o'clock. This is a re-release from an album that came out in 1980. It is primitive. It is raw. It is a lo-fi. <laughs> Everyone else would help to unlearn their instruments more than they ever have before <laughs> to match it. Wonderful. Guys, thanks so much for Thank being you. back.